Today is Wednesday, the 15th of March, and this is your midweek mashup. This week, in Apple News, Apple has released an update to OS X Yosemite, bringing the current version up to 10.10.3. With this comes a bunch of security updates and one major release is the new Photos app. Essentially, this is another step towards the current plan of merging iOS and OS X, making it much easier for new Mac adopters that have the existing iOS devices. The first time you open up the app, it seems very familiar, maintaining the same look and feel as its iOS counterpart, Plenty of powerful features too. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, and did I mention? It's free. Now, onto some Foxtel news. Foxtel, our favorite frenemy, is currently making a move that is actually going to benefit consumers. Foxtel have now expanded their Play platform onto new devices, including the Xbox One and selected Sony Smart TVs. For once, this is a really good move for consumers. With all the added pressure from other streaming services, it's finally forcing Foxtel to stay relevant. Now, onto some mobile news. It seems that LG has inadvertently revealed the upcoming G4 mobile phone. The rear of the G4 will have several color options, including multiple shades of real leather. Also included with the device is the super fast F by 1.8 camera, assisted by infrared color accuracy sensor, image stabilization and a full manual mode. A 5.5 quad HD display, a removable 3000 milliamp hour battery, as well as an SD card slot. This thing looks sexy as hell, so if you're an Android fanboy, give the Samsung a miss and check out the LG G4. Now, onto some local news. Due to a huge landmark lawsuit which saw Australian ISP IINet sued by the Dallas Buyers Club in the federal court, forcing IINet to hand over the details of thousands of customers who illegally downloaded the movie. We have now begun to see the beginning of the repercussions from this legal battle. Recent information from VPN provider TorGuard has shown a huge spike in usage, specifically from Australia immediately after the news of this legal battle broke. Using a VPN service protects users' identities who are downloading illegal content by routing their traffic through an alternative IP address, usually one that is publicly listed in another country, effectively throwing copyright or law enforcement agencies who are attempting to track them down off the digital sense. A copyright holder attempting to seek user information would have to jump through a number of difficult hoops just to obtain the details of a single downloader using a VPN service. Now, for any tech-savvy people out there, this is the first thing they would have done. In another sense, did the government not see this coming? With all the new metadata retention laws, this is the first logical step for any user to make. It's silly when politicians think that they can censor the internet. People need to wake up and realize that the internet is a living organism. You break a certain way to get to a particular location and 10 others pop up immediately. Now, onto some gaming news. Mortal Kombat X, again. Mortal Kombat X has finally been released in Australia and it seems that Target is selling it for the cheapest at $69 via ozbargain.com.au. Now, guys, just keep in mind, you can get JB Hi-Fi, Dick Smith and EB Games to price match that for you. So if you don't have a local Target, just pop into one of those stores. And guys, keeping it short and sweet for your midweek mashup, I am Adam Z4. Peace.